Your smart TV has two microphones. One is at the TV and the other is a lot closer than you think. Thanks so much for checking out iTony Tech. It's tech news for non-geeks. For Deluxe Magazine, I'm Tony Scott. You know, a few weeks ago, I told you about smart TVs, in particular, Samsung smart TVs, and how they listen to everything you say and use it to better serve you. Well, in a recent blog post called Samsung Smart TVs Do Not Monitor Living Room Conversations, Samsung said that its smart TVs have two microphones. One is inside the TV, the other one is inside your remote, huh? The TV mic listens for predetermined voice commands. The remote mic listens more closely to find a certain TV show. It works like almost any other voice recognition program on your tablet or smartphone. Now you can disable one or both microphones, but then you don't get the full benefit on that pretty pricey smart TV. Bottom line is this, smart TVs are cool, but the technology it uses still needs to evolve to the point where it can be trusted. Now that may happen, that may never happen. Trust in a machine to record your conversations not intended for the TV is a place we may never get to. Anytime something new comes out, by the way, there are kinks to be worked out. You gotta give it time. If you're loving that new 12-inch MacBook that has a retina display, sweet. It weighs two pounds, sweet. It has up to nine hours of battery life, sweet. It comes in gold, space gray, and MacBook silver, sweet. There are some other things though that Apple did not mention about the new MacBook. One, the FaceTime camera. It's not high definition. Standard def, baby, 480p to be exact. That's the same as the iPhone 4's front-facing camera. How many years ago was that? The MagSafe and the MagSafe 2, G-O-N-E. The MagSafe was the power cord that connected with a magnet. It's been replaced with the USB-C port. I want the trip-proof MagSafe myself. I got clumsy kids. The Apple logo on the lid that glows when it's on, it's a wrap. They're going with a metallic one that's on the iPad Air and the iPad Mini. Now on the plus side, the speakers are better. Hey, that's something. If you're like me and thinking of moving to a standing desk because sitting for a long time while at your computer is actually really bad for you, but no, you'll need to sit at some point, even if it's for a short time, I got a solution. The Mogo Portable Seat. You can use it with your standing desk or while waiting in line to buy tickets to that concert you've been waiting to go to. The rubber foot works on non-slip indoor surfaces. It works for people as tall as six foot eight. Now they've got different models and different prices. The one I'm eyeing is around $100. The seat comes in the colors black or chili pepper, whatever that is. Some women are rethinking the rhythm method of birth control. I know, you're thinking some of those women are crazy. The rhythm method has never been reliable. Well, there's an app for that. <laughs> no, really. Daisy is billed as your complete fertility management system. It learns and tracks your menstrual cycle. It'll show you if you're fertile or not with an accuracy of 99.3%. It's all natural and side effect free. It's actually a little more than an app. I'll link you to their site in the description below. But just so you know, the American College of Gynecologists warn it may be ineffective up to 25% of the time. If you're not smartphone lady, then you can use the cycle beads. It's a 28 bead necklace with each bead representing a day of your menstrual cycle. On the first day of your period, you put a little rubber ring around a bead. You move the rubber ring to the next bead as your cycle cycles. When you get to a certain color bead, you can have unprotected sex on those days without really risking getting pregnant. There's always a risk of getting pregnant if you're in your childbearing years though. Would I recommend this bead thing or the daisy? I don't even understand what I just said. That's all I got. A thumbs up and or subscribe it is really appreciated. If you'd like to be a patron of mine for $2.99 a month, you can do so. Go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com, Patreon dot com slash Tony Scott Media. Thanks for checking out iTony Tech. It's tech news for non-geeks. For Deluxe Magazine, I'm Tony Scott.